and there was something strange about the burqa beforehand and right. um, having worked with Brishke before mm -hmm. I mean part of the the offshoots is that I get to be educated on a topic right because right. when we worked on reclaiming rights before I was like a women's shelter in Kabul wow that's progressive you know like I had no idea right and then to work on the, on the burqa was even more um, so you were ready for surprises I was ready for surprises yeah we didn't even lab up people uh, on the street, the vendors and stuff, because they would have found it uncomfortable. It's it's like you have a five second chance of getting these people to agree or not to talk to you. It's not a status symbol anymore. It used to be, right? And like in some parts of the world, for instance, if you have darker skin, it's like the fairer skin is considered. Uh, it shows you're wealthier. So the darker means you're out in the field more. It's like a woman would wear it and be like, oh, I'm wearing the burqa, and so. You know what, I don't work in the field. And you can't look at me because I'm way too good for you. Most of the women that I, I, I met, you know, they understand what, what Islam is, but they, they want to move forward. They want to do things. Right. They don't want to put bikinis on necessarily, <laughs> but they just want to put the headscarf on and they want to go to school and they want to be filmmakers and they want to be musicians and, you know, and you can't do those things under that cloth. When women tell me those kind of things like, oh, it's perfect, I just, I love it because it's so easy for me. I'm like, easy for you, but you're just disabling 10 other girls' lives. Hmm. Please don't do it because you think it's, it makes you, your bad hair day easier. I met a woman in Dubai mm -hmm. and she was wearing the the, like one of those fully like two layer kind of okay you know the Sex and the City movie where it's like she lifts it up right. and eats the French fry except she wasn't she was sitting there watching her child in the pool I was first concerned because her child was two years old and I'm like are you sure you can really see if your child is you know like it was fully covered fully right. like it's just barely translucent and I asked her right she said you assume that I'm uneducated she said I have a PhD from some like almost like MIT kind of like level, right. like high, like NASA level engineering. And, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's fantastic. I'm not saying that you're illiterate, right? And I'm saying, but what are you doing with your education? Are you an astronaut right now going to the moon? Mm -hmm. No, why not? Because you can't with the clothing choice that you've just made. So I don't care how many degrees you collect, mm -hmm. but if you're not using that education to help the world evolve, what purpose is it? For you to sit there fully covered up and tell me that you are educated. Fantastic. But there's 10 other girls who are sitting there who don't want to wear that. Mm -hmm. Okay, who really do want to go to the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your answer is so ridiculous it, it, it disables them. I mean, if you look at the, the Middle East region, I mean, if, if all those women participated equally, wouldn't that change a lot of things? Who's right. playing with it? I don't know. You know what? Are, are the British still playing with it? Does NATO really want to remove burqas? I don't know. I mean, these are questions you got to ask. Does the Afghan government want burqas lifted? Maybe not. Maybe they want to keep their control. Who knows? Yeah, it's a political tool. 15 years ago, if you looked around the world, this extreme, the burqa and her little cousin versions were never as extreme as they are becoming today. It is mad weird that now you have three layer burqas for extra protection. Mm -hmm. Around Canada, I am seeing more women cover them, their, their face up to, you know, fully more and just showing their eyes. This wasn't the case 10 or 15 years ago. Like, I mean, I have to question that. What's going on here? Who is feeding this information to these women? Is that when a, when a woman is physically abused, Right, and you're not in a case in Afghanistan that's like fifty percent of the women in the household, sadly. Um, you won't see the the bruises on them. You know, if a man is like that, of, of such a character, and he is that evil, or suppose, he would love nothing more than his wife to cover her face like that in a body. Even if she lives in Canada. You know why? Because if she if she lived in Canada and she didn't, you would see the bruise on her face. Somebody would walk up to her and say, Are you okay? So Really? What is this? How manipulative can this clock get? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It can get pretty extreme. Well, I, I was just thinking about uh, this in terms of, of being social animals while you guys were talking. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, if, if you wanted to punish or ostracize someone, 
you'd put them in a burqa. I mean, no, no comment whatsoever about people who want to wear them or, or whatever. But, you know, you cannot touch them. You cannot see their facial expression. You can't look into their eyes.